fast, accurate, and every day. First Defense Weather. Well, a happy Wednesday to you and wanted to start off with a look at the Lake Erie ice coverage because we are getting some ice on the lake, but it's actually out towards the western end, out towards Toledo. That is where the ice is concentrated right now. The total ice coverage on the lake is 10.2%. It dropped from 20% last week for obvious reasons. We've had a little bit of a warm up the past few days and yeah, notice our end of the lake wide open and that and you know what that means. That means lake effect snow is not done and over with for the season, not by a long shot here. Now uh, we're still hanging on to fog. The fog has been hanging in here through the past couple of days like a rusty fish hook. I mean, it's just not gone anywhere and it's mainly confined to the lakeshore areas. You see this is as of noon hour one and three quarter mile visibility at the Erie Airport five miles here in Jamestown, seven in Randolph. The fog is going to lift later on this afternoon across the inland areas, but the lakeshore areas are still likely going to be dealing with some of that nuisance fog out there. So watch for that if you are traveling. Some reduced visibilities could be likely. Don't ever use your high beams and fog because that makes it worse. So here we go with a future scan. Notice how the modeling is bringing in some moderate rain showers at times through the afternoon hours. So again, expect on again, off again rain showers. It's not going to be all day rain, but it's on again, off again. But no sunshine through through today. I'm sorry. Now through tomorrow, some spots will have a, at least a decent shot of seeing a little bit of sun, but for most everybody, the clouds are really going to roll the sky tomorrow. So don't expect much in the way of sunshine, but some of you may see some sunshine tomorrow, but don't expect full sunshine though. As we go into Friday though, the, the temperatures come down and we are going to see a few lake effect potato flakes coming over the next couple of days. Accumulations as of now don't look to be significant. So rainfall accumulation Accumulations through Friday. Eh, it could be looking at about a good half an inch to maybe upwards of an inch in spots. You see Mayville, Dunkirk over an inch in Erie, a little over an a, a, a inch as well. So again, we're not really too concerned about flooding issues. So that's the good news, but this is a little nice little soaking for early January. So the first offense forecast for today goes like this. Scattered to occasional rain showers through the day today. Mostly cloudy to overcast with near steady temperatures. If you're right near the shoreline, you're going to stay in the upper 40s all day to around 60 across the inland areas with a south wind averaging 5 to 10. Through the overnight hours tonight, early rain showers, tapers off, patchy lakeshore fog continues. Wouldn't rule out some fog maybe in the valley areas through the overnight hours either. Otherwise cloudy, 35 to 40 with a west wind averaging 6 to 12. The ultimate satellite solution, 7 day, so mainly cloudy Thursday. Some of you may see a few peaks of sunshine, so again, but for most of the area, we're going overcast to cloudy. A uh, few snow showers on, th on uh, Friday 34. This is closer to where we should be for this time of the year. That's right around average. A few more flurries on Saturday. Sunday, peekaboo sun. The sun is going to be playing peekaboo with us, trying to peek out from the cloud cover, but we're going to stay optimistic that we're going to see some sun. Monday, I think a better chance for some sunshine with a few clouds mixing in from time to time. And Tuesday should be an overall dry day with temperatures still in the lower 30s.